All right. Have you guys seen this, that there's a chance we could see the Aurora tonight? Yes. Uh, I'm yes. typically bearish on this because I think a lot of times we're in a zone that potentially could see it, but it really doesn't come to fruition unless you're in far northern Maine. Mm. But I think tonight and tomorrow night may be a different situation. So here are the forecasts that the Space Weather Prediction Center, it's a real thing, puts out, and um, it's the probability of seeing the aurora. And you can see that statistically, we're still on the edge of that in the relatively low zone across central and northern Maine. And that's where we tend to kind of live at with these forecasts, but there's a couple of reasons that we have a better chance the next two nights and mostly has to do with essentially um, a space storm that's going on. It's a geomagnetic storm. And these are monitored based on the number of particles that they put into the atmosphere. Um, and so we have a, a G4 warning, which is a, a, a high level warning for a geomagnetic magnetic storm and it's been a very long time since we've had one of those. So that gives us a better chance of seeing the roar since that's where it's derived from to begin with. Guys, a couple of tips here, and these are really important. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is your best chance to see it. And the number one mistake I think people make is you have to get away from light pollution. So you've got to be in a spot where if you let your eyes adjust to the sky, you will see all the stars um, and if you can't, then you're not going to see the aurora. The sky cover actually looks relatively good tonight, partly cloudy or so. One final tip is if you're in a dark enough spot, you might want to let your camera exposed for a while, even if you have an iPhone. Oftentimes it can pick up on it, even if your eye can't. So it's worth a shot tonight. I'm going to try. Worth a shot. I won't be awake at 10 p.m. I was going to say it's pushing <laughs> or, it for the parents, but or, you know. Or in a place where there's no light pollution. But you might be up at 2 a.m., so you can try it then. That is possible. <laughs> All right, Keith, thanks so much. Bye.